Hello, my name is Maria from mathmammoth.com, and this is Mathy, my mascot. In this lesson, we're studying rounding. And you have studied that before, so most of this is probably review. Let's get started. We need to round this number to this place. The underlined digit shows the place we are rounding to. And what place is it? Here would be thousands place, ten thousands, and then hundred thousands place. The way I like to do rounding is I draw a line right after that place we are rounding to. That's my cutoff line, and all these digits will become zeros. But we need to look at the digit right after this place, this digit 4. It tells us whether we are rounding up or down. And it is 4, so we round down. As you know, if that digit is 0, 1, 2, 3, or 4, we round down. And that means that this does not change, and these become then zeros. So we get 2 million, 3, and then all these zeros here, 300,000. Round it to the nearest 100,000. Okay, over here, I'm gonna do the same. Draw a line, a cutoff line after that digit. And this now here is in the millions place. We're rounding to the nearest million. These will all become zeros, but we need to look at this digit here to know whether we round up or down. Six means we round up. Rounding up means that this will go to the next digit. One will change to two to the next million in this case. So we will get 902 million. All right, our next one has some nines. I look at this nine, it means I round up. But here's a nine. I cannot increase that by one. I cannot write 10 here in its place. But instead, you can think of this 39 here this 39,000, and increase that by 1, so it becomes 40. Instead of 39 here, we write 40. So we get 340,000. These become zeros once again. Now the same number, but rounded to this place. Hundreds place. Okay, 2 here means we round down, so that's pretty easy now. This will not change, and I'll just get 339,900. In this number we have super many nines. Let's see what happens. Here's six. It means we round up. But here's a nine, and here's a nine, and here's a nine, and here's a nine. So what you will do in this case is you will go backwards all the way up to this 7 and increase that by 1 to 8, okay? So we actually get 28, and then all of this will be zeros. 28 million. Now here's some more rounding practice. And I want you to try to do it yourself, okay? Before I write it down. Oh, before Matthew writes the answers down, okay? Okay, Matthew, you can start working. Let's see what Matthew gets. Rounding to the nearest thousand, we need to find the thousands place, which is here. Okay, yeah, Matthew, draw the cutoff line there. Matthew, you're messing things up. I'm not gonna let you write the rest of this. Erasing my numbers. Did you get the same? 2,500,000. Now if we run the same number to the nearest 10,000, is 10,000's place, then nine means we round up, we will get the same actually, like that, to the nearest million, is the millions place. Four means we round down, so we get two million. Over here to the nearest thousand first. Okay, two means we round down, so 
seventy-nine million five hundred sixty-five thousand. Then to the nearest ten thousand. Five means we round up five hundred seventy here. Lastly, to the nearest million. Five means we round up, so we get here 80, 80 million. Now over here in this problem, it says, rounding to the nearest 100,000. Which numbers get rounded to 800,000? I'm going to solve this using a number line. And since we are thinking of rounding to 800,000, I'm going to put that number here in the middle. 800,000. And we're rounding to the nearest 100,000. So I'm going to put the previous 100,000 here, which is 700,000. And then 900,000 somewhere here. All right, does that help you tell what numbers are rounded to? 800,000. We know that the middle number, the middle five, as you remember, is always rounded up, okay? So numbers here would be nearer to 700,000 than 800,000. So numbers here are rounded to 700,000. Numbers here are rounded to 800,000. And then this middle, or middle number is rounded up to 800,000, right? Then over on this side, these numbers are rounded to 800,000 because they are nearer it than that. And then these numbers here are rounded to 900,000. And then the middle number here is rounded up, so it is not rounded to 800,000. It's all these numbers here, from the middle point to the other middle point, but the other middle point is not included. So what number is here? It would be 750,000, right? And then over here is 850,000. And so we take the one number before that, and that number is still rounded to 800,000. I'm going to write it here. From 750,000 till 849,999. And these two included. Over here, a word problem. A big zoo used $4,329,512 for animal feed last year. This year they estimate to spend about $4,680,000. About how much is the increase to the nearest $10,000? Now it is asking about how much to the nearest $10,000. So, when we get our answer, we need to round it to the nearest $10,000. And about how much is the increase in the cost of animal feed? That means we need to look at the difference, right? So we need to subtract the numbers, right? You need that? Set. Oh, okay. Math is asking if the zoo has mammoths, if they bought any mammoth feed. I don't know. Do you have cousins there, Mathy? Oh, he thinks he has cousins there. Why do you think so? I see. A big zoo should have big mammoths. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to subtract these numbers over here. 4,680,000. Okay. Now over here we can subtract, we need to regroup, there's all these zeros, so I need to go all the way back to this 8. And then take from this 10 here, leave 9 there, get my rows of 10s and 9s. Okay, 10 minus 2, 8, 9 minus 1, 8, 9 minus 5, so 4, 0, 5, and 3. We get... 350,488. But it said to the nearest $10,000, so we need to round it to the nearest 10,000. Yes, the 10,000th digit and this zero there. So it just becomes 350,000.
thousand. So that's about how much the increase is. Now you might wonder that what if I had rounded this number here first and then subtracted? It turns out that in this case you would get the same answer. But in general it is always best to round only your final answer, not your intermediate numbers, okay? Because it might in some problems make a difference. Well done with this lesson.